left over from that and uh, develop a new larger rocket, uh, a rocket that can take us uh, perhaps uh, to the moon for a period of time, maybe to an asteroid, and, and ultimately, uh, for you young ladies and gentlemen here, uh, you know, maybe in 20 or 30 years, we can seriously look at, at going back to Mars. So that's that's our plan for the uh, for the near term. It's really thrilled that you were able to join us today. Um, what did you think of the launch? Was that good? Did you feel the vibration when the sound wave came across? Yeah. That's really good. Back on Earth and they go to, you know, in space, if I'm holding something, I can just let go and it stays there. And some people, right when they come back, they forget and they'll just let go of their coffee cup and it's all in the Then it's like, oh yeah, there's gravity. I can't do that. There's a little bit of adjustment. Okay, uh, how does it feel being in space? Do you have the same emotions on Earth? Like when you come back, you want to get a cup of coffee, you have to drop it by mistake? Yeah, you do. Sometimes you forget. When you know, when you first wake up, you kind of feel like you're on the ceiling sometimes. and then you, Or you feel like you're kind of tumbling. When you first get back, you're a little wobbly. Uh, and yeah, you, I had one time where I just wanted to float a pen, but I was back on Earth and it fell. So. <laughs> oh, well, okay. And how does it, how, do people always wonder, how the bathrooms and human needs are up there. Are you in need of food as much as on Earth? You know, the first couple days in space, you don't have quite the appetite that you have on Earth. But then, once your body adapts to space, because you have what they call a fluid shift, so your body kind of is confused for a couple days, but then you get your appetite back and it's just like on Earth. And now I've read that a lot of astronauts, when they go to space, even if they don't believe in God, they have a new perspective from being up there. Is that true? You definitely get a different perspective because you have this view of the planet that is breathtaking. You see how thin our atmosphere is. And you know, the other thing from space, you don't see borders from space. You don't see conflict from space. You just see this beautiful planet. And uh, and it's unfortunate that you know that there are certain regions of the world where there are, there are problems. And it's uh, it really does give you perspective. And that's... For me, that's one reason I wish everybody could get to go because I think it would make it a lot more peaceful on Earth if, if people got to see what a fragile planet we have, how thin the atmosphere is, and how there are no borders. Okay, so, thank you very much. Hey, thanks. I've been great talking.